Yo, what up, son? Hello, everyone. Uh, Joe here. Um, I figured, um, normally, for those of you that have read Fitarian and the website that me and Andrew, my co-founder, have started, uh, know it's mostly articles on there. And I figured I want to change it up a bit because um, a lot of you have been coming up to me saying that you like the way that I write the articles. And in my little brain, I was thinking, if they like the way I write the articles, they're going to lerb the way that I say the articles. So, for this one, I'm coming out the box with it. What? What? I want to spice it up a notch. What? Cut that shit out. So this one, I'm just going to do it because I think if you guys can hear it how I want it to be heard, it'll be a little more informative. It'll, it'll, it'll stick a little more in your head. It'll stick. I know the information now. So hopefully you guys will like that. Today's topic, I'm going to cover snacking. Because that's a big, big thing I like in my life. And we'll see if you guys like it. Before we get into that, um, I wanted to talk about how originally... I was thinking, what do I, what do I want to do for a first article? Hmm. Keep in mind, for my first video, to let you guys know, oh, is this going to be worth watching, or is this going to be a shitty waste of my time? I was going to do it on Dr. Scholl's uh, foot soles, all right? Think about that for a second. I was going to do that on Dr. Scholl's foot soles. That's so stupid. How is that even going to go? I'd love, love to see what a first log on that would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, it's on. Um, <clears throat> hey guys, Joe here. Um, you might know me better by my gamer handle, Copernicus, or uh, Jotheph, not to be confused with Joe the F, which some of you seem to be calling me online, um, but that's okay. Slip your sorries in a sec. <laughs> um, anyways, I was walking again the other day and my feet kind of hurt. So uh, I went to Rite Aid and got Dr. Scholl's foot soles, but um, now it just feels like there's something in my shoe. Uh, so I don't really think it's doing anything, but I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I'll see you guys online. Catch me on the interwebs. Other than that, take care. So yeah, that would be my first blog post. I don't think so. That's not... That's not how I'm starting this. Dr. Scholl's, oh yay. Let's do Dr. Scholl's, Joe. Hell no. We're gonna do this flight. We're gonna do this flight, son. The big thing I wanted to talk about in terms of snacking was in terms of fitting it into your nutrition plan. There's a big difference between binging and totally giving up and fitting it into your plan and being sane. The big thing I notice with people is events are gonna come up. We're human, okay? The hardest part on doing a diet or any type of body transformation, usually trying to diet down, is that people restrict themselves too much. And I never like using even that word restriction. No one ever stays on it. Right now, I'd love you to eat chicken and broccoli for the next two weeks and let me know how long you stick with that. Unless you're getting ready for a bodybuilding competition or a bikini competition, you don't need to be hitting exact numbers like that unless you're going for lower body percentages. So what I'm saying is events are gonna happen. Okay, I understand that we're human. You know, you're going to have a birthday to go to, a family event to go to, something, a uh, holiday. The big thing to keep in mind is work it in. Just because those days are coming out doesn't mean, well, it's Christmas today, so I'm just going to eat everything under the sun because I'm an idiot. No, you can still enjoy that day and have a piece of whatever you wanted and fit it into your numbers. For those that are more specific and count the grams, if you know, okay, I have this many grams of carbs today and I usually have... 60 grams in my post-workout. I'll just save some of those grams, 25 of those grams, 30 of those grams, 40 of those grams, whatever, and put it towards the meal later because I know I'm going out with my family and I want to be able to enjoy that burger or that french fry or whatever. So I'll fit that in. For those a little less specific, it's even easier because if you're less specific, your goals aren't as hard pressed as the ones that are actually counting. It's about substitution and not restriction. I'll have a little less now so I can have that little bit later. Factor it in. If you fit it in, you'll stay with it longer. That makes it more of a lifestyle change than it does make it just, oh, I'm on a diet, I can't eat now, I'm depressed all the time. Because it's going to happen. All right? You know how many times girls are coming up? 
Joe, listen, okay? I'm not trying to effing diet, all right? I'm trying to just enjoy my life. Joe, I go out on weekends. I don't have time to just count this and count that. The only thing I want to count is how many shots are going in my throat because I'm going to be doing a lot of them. No, screw you, Joe. I'm not listening to your advice. I'm just going to binge the whole night and puke it all the night after. That's how I feel. Screw your advice. You don't believe how often girls are saying that. And I get that, where they just think it's a all or nothing principle. You can fit it in, girls. You can fit it in. Listen, I get it. I'm human too. Again, if you know me, you know I love stacking. I know it's gonna be a part of it. But instead of binging out, I make it fit. So just to show you guys that, you know, I'm, I don't wanna show that I'm all preachy and I don't live it myself. I'm gonna show you some of the snacks I have. And it's, it's not, you know, none of them are healthy by those typical standards, but I include them and it's fine and it works out for me, whether I'm dieting or I'm trying to put on size. Ice cream. I like ice cream. I like it a lot. I eat all the time. I just have to land the Thin Mints this week. Between cereal and ice cream, I'm trying to run the aisle on having each flavor I could possibly have. I actually had two, but I finished the other one earlier this week, so I can't even show you that. If that gives you an idea of me snacking, there you go. I'm more of a Samoa person. By the way, if you're watching this right now, and you don't choose Samoas over Thin Mints, you might as well stop watching my video, so you can just shut the hell up. The other snack I have, cookie butter. Um, they sell that like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, I think. All right, it's a spread like peanut butter, you know, a nice thing. I literally, I put this on anything. I put on ice cream, I'll put on my cereal, on top of protein bars. I'll put on a steak if I have to. It's not a big deal. But this stuff, it tastes like gingerbread cookies. It's crack. It's crack to my mouth and stomach and everything else. Because I'm talking about it so much, I'm gonna have some now. Yummy, yummy. Okay, well, that's enough of that. The other thing is, if snacking is a big problem for you, don't keep it around your apartment or your house. The big thing is, if it's in your house, you're gonna eat it. If I have the cookie butter here, I'm gonna eat it. If I have the ice cream, I'm gonna eat it. So control what you get when you're at the stores. Now I know that's a little hard, but do your best. You're gonna eat whatever's in there, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, overall, I hope you guys like that. Um, again, snacking doesn't have to turn into a full out binge. You can fit it into what you're eating for the day. Um, and my other last piece of advice is just be careful when you're listening to other people's advice, including my own. You're going to hear opposite ends of the spectrum all the time. The biggest argument me and Andrew, the other writer, have are that I'm a big snacker and he's not a snacker at all. You put any type of food in front of my face, it's going in my mouth, into my belly, and it's going to stay in there. Whereas him, he... He has to eat so much. He's adapted his metabolism to eat so much. Mind you, he's not a naturally skinny person. He, but he's adapted it so much that the intake he has to eat to just try and keep the size he has is so high, he's not even hungry. That's, that's... Uh, what? No, that's an issue for him. Whereas for some of us it isn't. So you're gonna hear opposite ends. There's no reason to snack when you're dieting or trying to put on size. You should be eating clean the whole time. Listen, if they're not a snacker, they're not going to get it. If you're a fat boy, you're going to get it and you can fit it in. Obviously, it's not an optimal situation. You don't want to be doing this every single day. This is for those rare occasions when it's on holidays and birthdays where you want to live your life and actually go out and not have to worry. Oh, am I hitting my numbers? I don't know. I just can't tell. Forget it. Just focus, just enjoy it, enjoy your life, all right? Let your lifestyle work and shape your nutrition plan. Don't let the nutrition plan shape your lifestyle. This is the biggest thing. Okay. That concludes my first post for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative enough. Hope you guys had a couple of laughs in there. Um, if we could just, if we could just take a moment a moment just calm ourselves down a bit it's the end of the video wind down instead of eating for you guys I want to leave you with a spiritual quote okay a very spiritual very serious moment a wise man once said forgiveness is divine
but never pay full price for late pizza. Namaste, you guys. Shabbat shalom. Vaya con Dios.